is up you guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video so today's video is going to be a little bit different I just came across a study that I think is incredibly important especially for people that are trying to lose weight and I just felt like I wanted to share this with you and kind of give my opinion on the topic so before I go any further I want to say that everything I'm gonna be talking about is going to be linked in this study that I'm reading down in the description down below so anything that you think I'm lying about or not being truthful about Everything that I'm saying is from that study down below. So I, I highly recommend going, checking it out, reading it for yourself, because obviously I'm not gonna read the whole thing here on screen. So if you have any questions about it, seriously, feel free to click that link and you will have all the information that I have as well. But the basic premise of this study was to put low fat diets versus low carb diets and see what was best for weight loss. And just reading straight off of my laptop here, this is just a basic overview of the study. A year long randomized clinical trial has found that a low fat diet and a low carb diet produce similar weight loss and improvements in metabolic health markers. Furthermore, insulin production and tested genes had no impact on predicting weight loss success or failure. Thus, you should choose a diet based on personal preferences, health goals, and sustainability. When I saw that last word, you guys know how much I love the word sustainability. So I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> so I know that's a lot of information to kind of digest at once. So I made some notes so we can kind of unpack what this study is talking about. So I have some notes on my phone here and I wanted to kind of just go over the specifics of the study. The study that we're talking about had over 600 participants and over 660 pounds was lost. And then it was over a 12 month period and it was like really carefully monitored. So the people were going in and seeing the people that were running the study very frequently so they could obviously measure how, how much they were adhering to the diet that they were put on and all those kinds of things. And then something that I thought was particularly interesting with this study is that it was partially funded by the NUSI, which is an organization that's co-founded by low carb advocates. So this organization is, you know, people that want the thing to say that low carb diets are much better, but it actually just kind of found that they're basically the same. And then in the study, it goes on to say this, no significant weight loss differences were seen between the low fat and low carb groups and neither genetics nor insulin production could predict weight loss success on either diet. There were also no significant differences between groups for most other health markers tested. I found that part particularly interesting because I, I know that when I talk about, you know, calories in versus calories out, Again, I do understand that there are outliers to that condition. You know, if you have PCOS, there are reasons why calories in, calories out might not be the only like cure all for everybody, but for the vast majority of people, right? Calories in versus calories out has been shown time and time again to work. But when I talk about that, a lot of people argue with me about insulin and stuff like that. But this study has shown that whether you're doing low fat or low carb, your insulin levels, they are gonna be moving around, but it's not having a significant change on how much weight you are losing over you know it's a 12 month they did it for 12 months so like it's not like they did some short study like there was a very long study with a lot of people and that's why I think it's so interesting because people always argue with me about insulin and I mean I'm not here to try and say I'm right or wrong but I'm just reading the study and it's just so nice to hear that what I've been saying for so many years now is just getting more and more science behind it and then towards the end of the study, it goes on to say this, the results of this study send a clear message that when choosing an eating style, sustainability is a component whose importance cannot be understated. There is no best diet, both low fat and low carb diets can work for weight loss. The healthy diet that will work for you is the one that you can stick to. And reading that, I mean, you guys can see how, how happy that makes me. It just puts such a big smile on my face because I just, that's something that I've genuinely believed for the longest time and something that I've preached to you guys for, for years now is it doesn't matter what, whatever diet you're doing, if you feel like you can stick to it and you're, it, it's something that you can sustain over a long period of time, whether that's low fat, low carb, keto, paleo, whatever it is that works for you, as long as it's something you can sustain and, and, and do for a long period of time, that is the best diet. And this study is just going to prove that and it makes me so happy. Another part of the study that I thought was really interesting was how they found how many calories each person should eat because obviously everyone has a different amount of calories they need to lose weight. And what they said they use was your TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure, which is something that I've talked about on this channel a lot as well. So it just made me really happy knowing that I'm giving out the right information and, and the information that I believe really is what's going to help the most people lose weight. And it really just, it, it's always nice solidifying 
what you feel to be right and and seeing these studies and seeing especially with how many people were studied over such a long period of time it just you know you can't really argue that very much now this video is obviously my opinion on the topic i highly encourage anyone that's watching this to go click that link down in the description and you can read the whole study for yourself so you know that I'm not just sitting here BSing you. But I think that this is a, a really big study and really, really important just for the, the, the weight loss community, but just for the health community in general. Like this is a really big deal because it proves what I've been saying. I'm not saying that I'm the first person to say it because I'm definitely not. You know, obviously I got my information from somewhere, but it, it proves what I've believed for so long. And for me, that's exciting because what I believe is what I've talked about on the channel. And I would feel really bad if everything that I've said isn't true. Uh, but the fact that this is kind of reinstating and making me feel a lot more comfortable with everything that I've said just makes me really happy. And I just hope that anybody that's watching this, you go and click that link and you read all of this stuff for yourself. Like I've said time and time again, knowledge is power. So the more knowledge that you have and the more confident that you are in the diet that you're doing, the easier it is to stick to that, right? Because if you're not sitting there kind of questioning, well, maybe is this the best thing for me? Should I try this? Should I try that? Like if you're able to sit there and be like, no, I know that this is scientific typically right and this is working for me, then you will have that confidence to keep pushing when you, maybe you have a bad day or even have a bad week. Another thing that I think is really cool and also pretty important with this study is that it's not sitting there trying to say you need to try this diet, you, you need to try this diet, this is the best diet. It's just giving you the facts, right? And what they even say in the study is like, what you should find what works for you. So if low fat works really well for you and you're able to sustain that over a long period of time and it's a diet that you've seen, you know, you've been losing weight with that, then stick with that. Or the same thing, you know, if, if low carb has been really helpful for you and you can sustain that and you can do it over a long period of time and it's not too taxing, then go with that. Like they're not sitting there trying to say which diet you should do, but I just think it's super important to find out what works for you. So if you're curious about trying low carb, if you're curious about trying low fat, Try it out and see if it works. And if it's something that you just feel like it's too hard for you to sustain, maybe you might wanna try the other diet. I truly believe that calories are king when it comes to trying to lose weight. And that's exactly what this article is saying. So, I mean, I couldn't be happier. And I, I hope that you go and do the research for yourself so you're not just believing me and you, you figure it out for yourself. But that's gonna be the video today, you guys. I am super stoked. I would love to hear your opinions, your thoughts, especially if you've read the article. What do you think about it? I would, I would love to hear what your opinions are. So I'd love to see those down in the comment section down below. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah. Look up if I am. Uh. Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.